Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome back to another Splatfest episode of Splatoon 2. And I mean, if you're watching this, it's obviously already over for you guys, so let me just little give you a little retro flashback on this episode. It is the retro modern Splatfest, and we are retro. Of course, as always, the plaza is full of great art and all that cool stuff. And uh, at least for me, uh, 4.0 update pretty much just released, so we're gonna try pro mode because I'm just curious about it. Uh, we're going in with the same gear as the last episode, of course, if you haven't seen the last episode, maybe go see it first. But let's just hop right into pro mode and uh, see what all that's about. I, I like the news flash things down there, I don't really know what's the point, but uh... It's something new, so uh, anyways, let's go into pro mode. It should be fun uh, going back with the NZAP89, and uh, well, I don't know. I am I still prefer the Dooley's playstyle. It's so fluid and nice, and oh my god, I love it. I missed out on it in Splatoon 1. Uh, let's, let's join. So, of course, I think pro mode is restricted to solo play. It's like a little more competitive, supposedly, and... Uh, there's probably a little different style in how you're ranked. Uh, I think... I don't know um, if your team gets remixed up or not. I, I don't know how it works. I believe, actually, here's the thing. I believe that uh, before solo and teams, your team would get like rebuilt every time, I think. I could be saying something completely wrong. Uh, but I believe that now may be the normal mode. You keep your team, and that's why they have the win streaks. And this time around, they try to match you with players and people of the same power. Uh, yeah, and of course, you can't go in with your friends because it's supposed to be more competitive and stuff. I'm not sure if the uh, point system works any different. Uh, but we're gonna find out, I guess, real soon. Okay, first spot of the game. And, oh man, oh, just a little mis-aim. My aim was just a little off uh, from where I was guessing he was, I guess. Okay, let's go to him. And uh, there should be... I don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was gonna die if they didn't save me there. That's uh, pretty nice. Thanks, team. Uh, I don't know. I should... I, can you voice chat with strangers now in Splatoon? Now that, uh, the... Because apparently you can do that in Mario Kart now, which is really cool. Um, so it would be nice to do it in Splatoon. Of course, the app still sucks and everything, right? But, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to see. I'll check it out later. Um, of course, not in a video, but really curious to check it out. Okay. And there's... Oh god. Oh, he's... They're all screwed. Uh, as I die. I don't know who got me. Man, I missed the blah blah blah. What is, what is it called? Can, can you tell that I actually haven't been focusing on Splatoon? Like, I used to actually play Splatoon a lot. Um, but I just find it really, like, enjoyable as a casual thing now. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, uh, man, I died pretty badly there. Okay. Uh, let's go to him. I mean, that should be pretty good, right? Oh man. Oh man, auto bomb! Save me. I think I rely too much on auto bombs. I mean, they don't really work that well, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're, let's make our way past here. Oh man, he got me. Uh, okay. Oh man, we're just dying out here. Why don't we go a little over there? Seems like a decent idea. The auto bombs do go pretty far though. That's really cool. Um. Aha! Yes. Oh, there was two, and there was three, but the third one got me. Blah blah, blah blue blue bob blubbler. I don't know what it. Man, it's such a fun a fun twister. Man, I cannot speak. Please help me. Um, you know, you know, I shouldn't be doing this, this profession, this hobby. You know, I suck. Okay. Uh, great. Okay, auto bomb. 
did we win? Probably not, by uh, judging just how bad I was playing. Well, it looks like our team did pretty decent to catch up. And look at that, we won. I don't even have to be good, um, but th thanks, thanks to my team, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing good and messing up words. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a while. And so I don't know how that works. We, yeah, it's like always 80. Retro Defender, I mean, hey, the end zap is really helping out for this. Anyways, let's go again and play another battle. And uh, I don't know, hopefully we can keep on doing this. Uh, looks like pro mode doesn't have much of a difference. Okay, and we're back at Albacore Hotel. And so from what I'm making out from the menu, it seems that pro mode has a bigger focus on your team's power level. And so it says I need to play like seven matches to calculate my power level and all. Um, and then there's Clout, which is new, and I don't know what that does exactly. Um, I mean, that's interesting and all, but it seems like Normal is more based on, um, uh, like, win streaks for your team as a whole. Oh god! No, no, oh wow, that has a ri really wide range that I really underestimated there. Not that I could have done much more, but, you know, that's good. So going here early game is probably not a good idea because it's uh, wasting time for your the main lines of, of battle to you know to get undefended. Oh, they're all there. Okay, that's nice. And no, the last one is here. Okay, man, he just got me there. Uh, okay, huh? Where will we head to? Oh man, they're taking it over there. They're really taking it. Oh, I see someone here. I think he's been taken care of. Ah, uh, God, no! Don't you dare! Ah, uh, the splash wall does it all. Okay. And where are we headed to this time? I don't know, we'll just go there. That bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Man, I didn't get, like, a single person in this game yet. Uh, please don't die. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we died. We died pretty quickly. How unfortunate. Okay, uh, whew, one minute left. Uh, we're doing so bad. You know, I always, like, sucked... Uh, which the, uh, well, not the bubble blower, but I mean the, I don't know, the heavy weapons, the heavy splatlings or whatever, that class of weapons, but I see some people actually using them really wisely and doing, like, good stuff. Okay, here's an auto bomb. This, I'm counting on this auto bomb to save me, like, no joke. Okay, he just followed my path. He knows what he's doing. They, they won this one, like, it's unbelievable. Uh, so let's try to sneak past them, get a couple last second splats. I mean, uh, we didn't even splat him, that's just a little disappointing. Okay. I didn't even redeem my, uh, little Splatoon bonus for, uh, signing up for a year for Nintendo Online. I need to do that, man. Okay, so we definitely lost. I'm uh, curious to see if we got under 20. No, but pretty close. Um, I don't know. <laughs> One time I think I got defeated with like 10 or 11 percent. So, uh, like on our side, that was pretty humiliating. Um, seriously, a communication error occurred. I just paid for Nintendo Switch Online, god damn it. See, we can blame them so hard now that we gotta pay for it, and it doesn't seem like it's any better than before. But if you're gonna make me... I don't know, if I didn't win my 20 points... I don't think I won my 20 points. That's a little annoying, playing for three minutes and then having it crash in the goddang lobby. It's fun when it crashes for ranked when you lost, but let's go back into pro mode and see what it's all about. 
Okay, and we're back at Sturgeon Shipyard. Honestly, I feel like that's just the best stage this time around in the Splatfest. Um, I mean, I tried, of course, New Albacore Hotel a lot when it came out. Um, because, of course, as I said, I haven't played Splatoon much recently, so, uh, that, I don't know. It's been a while. Um, but I just feel like Sturgeon Shipyard is the best. I find Albacore Hotel a little annoying in a way. Um, I hate the ones where it's, like, tricky to move around in the stage. Okay, he just sucked. I gave him, like, a pretty decent chance. I hesitated to go to him, thinking he would be better than me. And, no. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting, or, like, forgetting to realize I can just, like, swim away with these things. Oh, god dang it. Well, at least I splatted him, like, the millisecond before I got shot with the Penta missiles. But they're actually useful, I guess. One of the couple of first times I get, like, legitimately splatted with it, like, solid. Just a solid splat, you know? Uh, okay, there's lots of blue around there, I'm a bit concerned, but we're gonna go to it anyways. Uh, the important thing is to, like, throw a bomb, sh start shooting, or just run away, right away. Oh god. Autobomb! And let's go in their zone! Because, uh, of course, it's not occupied right now. Uh, man. This gets a little lame when you're up here, really. Oh god, I did not realize how close we are to their point. But no one seems to be dying on their side, so... Oh man, there was so many other players I could have gotten. Are, is our team just doing bad? Like, I don't know what, what's up with that. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, too many things, too many hazards at once. Tenta missiles, the baller. Like, come on, calm down, people. And stop getting splatted, god dang teammates. You're playing so poorly, this is pro mode, I know, right? Unbelievable. I mean, it's pro mode without voice chat. It doesn't really mean anything that it's called pro mode. I mean, to be fair, this guy has, like, specifically upgraded gear. Um... So that's a nice little thing, you know? Uh, don't tell me it was the cloud, it was the ink storm. I, it, the ink storm is annoying and unpredictable in the way that it works. You just take the more damage the closer to the center you get, but it's quite unpredictable in a way. Okay. Oh, is my autobomb gonna get him? I don't know. Oh, okay, oh, well, that's actually a good vantage point I didn't really consider before. Let's see, where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know. Looks like we're going here. Ah, uh, splat, that guy! Nope, not even. We're just that bad. Um, splat duelies. Kenza splat duelies. They're brand new! And they're probably really interesting. So, did we win? I don't know. We were doing good at the beginning and pretty badly at the end. Chances are they won, but it's actually sort of hard to predict, but they probably won. And no, we won! Look at that! See, I'm bad at my predictions today. We did a thing, that's pretty nice. And level, look at that. I'm so outnumbered on the levels here. There's a level 16 on their team, so I guess it's pretty fair. I still don't know what the uh, clout is. Um, so yeah, it's on a 500 scale now. Well, it... Honestly, it's just the same. It's just more impressive numbers. Uh, but let's go for another battle. Well, with the sort, with the abilities that I'm currently giving out here, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like Retro is gonna win. But honestly, uh, we're gonna have to see if the Splatfest changes change anything, because it seems likely that Retro is gonna win again, just because it's the I, I think it's the least popular team. I mean, according to Nintendo's Twitter, that's what it seems to be, so... We'll have to find out. Of course, we're not getting the results in this episode anytime soon. The Splatfest has only been on for like an hour now. Okay. Um, I'm still mad that I missed the, um... I missed the... the like, uh... Squid vs. Octopus Splatfest. That was like when I was on vacation and I was like at the hotel and their Wi-Fi just wouldn't connect well and I missed it out because it was one of the cooler ones too, you know, because 
Uh, I don't have the DLC yet, and you could have been an Octolink, so... Fun stuff, missed opportunities. Okay, I don't know how many Splatfists to go that was, honestly, at this point. They have Splatfists more frequently than in Splatoon 1, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong about that too, but... Oh, Tenta Missiles! Oh, and the Bobbler! Like, look at that, everything is going to mayhem! Oh, there was someone there! Oh no, okay, that's just the bubble. You can explode the bubble. Okay, where is he? Did he just die? Oh no, he like... Oh, great. Ah, great, okay. Tenta missiles. I mean, hey, at least they maybe got him, I don't know. Ah, look at us doing poorly. We're still winning though, currently. Map-based, we're actually doing pretty good. Oh god, there's a lot of people over there, and uh, I'm curious to see what happens. If their auto bomb wasn't useful. I think auto bombs should honestly be. Oh god, oh god. Like, they should be buffed, I think. I think that would be reasonable. I wouldn't be mad if they did that, even though. If, even if I ended up getting killed all the time by them. I just see splash bombs still as one of the most supreme weapons, or like sub weapons in the game. Uh, oh, and of course, well, I mean bomb-wise. They have so many bombs in Splatoon 2 compared to the other ones. It's just a bit surreal. Okay, hey, we're doing a little better this time around. Uh, I mean, hey, we got splatted, but, you know, doesn't matter. We got this. Uh, we're doing pretty good, actually. Okay. Of course, we can't go up there. Oh, great, 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 great. Is there anyone here? Nope, no one here. Okay. Oh, God. The Tentatic Splatter Shot. That's not what it is. Uh, Tenta Missiles. There we go. I, I am so rusty at Splatoon, it's crazy. Okay, and we won that one. I was pretty confident about that one, though. Uh, we actually played pretty decent. That's somewhat surprising. Um, so we're gonna go for one last battle, uh, still placing last. I don't actually know how that works, um, but hey, we got, a uh, 70 points. That's more than our usual, um, but we should, we're still a ways off from being to the next title, which is, what is it, like, I don't know, I forget the titles. Is it, like, Queen? I guess it's Queen and then Champion, I think, right? It must be. And we're back for this other round of Skull Kid doesn't know how to word things properly and doesn't have the hang of doing YouTube anymore. <laughs> okay. Man, okay. It still, you know, feels nice to be doing a little more games. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Um, so this is like the first gaming video I record since early July. Yeah, it definitely has been a while. And, uh, I don't know, I'm obviously focusing a little more on special things when I have the time. Uh, but yeah, just cool casual gaming. It might have been like a couple other videos in between when you're seeing this, but, you know, just put two and two together and, uh, you know, it's Splatfest. Same episode as the previous one. I guess this is episode 7 of Splatoon or something. Okay. Aha, there you are. Oh my god. That's just a little embarrassing, you know. Um, but that's the thing. That's the... Well, I prefer the motion controls in handheld. I prefer Splatoon in handheld in a way, so far. Well, I guess it's because I have no, like, pro controller yet. Um, because of course it's nice to play Splatoon on a TV, like, graphics-wise. Okay. But, oh man. Man, oh man. Oh, that's painful. Um, yeah, I don't know, just about the motion controls. It doesn't feel as good. Uh, but then again, on a handheld, you're, you get so competitive sometimes, it's like, holy moly, uh, your Joy-Cons are at risk, you know? 
like my Switch Joy-Cons after bringing it for a month on vacation and playing it daily, I gotta say, they feel a little loose, you know? Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are having problems with your Switch feeling a little loose after having it for a while or mostly playing handheld or playing Splatoon 2 competitively or I don't know. Um, but I don't know. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, you know, as long as it holds up and plays games and yeah. Plus we have cloud saves now, so it doesn't matter as much as if ever your Switch broke or whatever. In a way, I would just be scared to lose my save data even if I got it repaired by Nintendo. Because, I mean, they can say sorry all they want, but save data, it has some emotional value, you know? Okay, we're actually just dying here. We're all teleporting to this area. It's a stupid concept. This guy has got the hang of it, though. Um, plus, their team's actually getting wiped out, so we got a little advantage here for a couple seconds. A couple more seconds of, of glory. Man, man. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we made it past. We made it past! That's pretty good. I think we won this one. Uh, hopefully I'm not being too confident. Uh, it looks like we've got some decent potential. But all our battles have been pretty tight so far. So anyways, that's gonna be the last battle for today. I uh, hope you're looking forward to, I don't know, more, more stuff. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Splatoon may take a while to come back. Videos are, of course, gonna be more scarce in these next few months, uh, as you probably know. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Splatoon. Hope you enjoyed it as always. Splatfest was fun, and I can't wait to see who wins you already know by now. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider giving this video a like. Don't forget to, to you know, subscribe. All that good stuff, I'm sort of in the process of changing my intro. And don't hesitate to click on one of those videos, because it's really cool. Anyways, see you everyone.